Welcome back, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you information about how the what are the best ways to publish and host your school the holes on WordPress. It's a great idea, but there's some key things that you need to know, which I'm going to tell you. I will be back in a few moments, folks. I'm coming back. So you're looking at the best way to host your SCORN files on WordPress, which is an excellent idea. Now, there are a number of SaaS self um, software as a service plat publishing and hosting platforms. The two leading ones are iSpring and Articulate 360. They're the two leaders, but there's a load. These are pub publishing and also they supply a learning management system with hosting of SCORN content. They're normally all very expensive. And as you get more members, more files, they get more and more expensive um, to an amazing level. WordPress is such a, a, a cost-effective solution, but there's some key things that you need to know. Now, you need the right type of hosting um, I'm going to cover that in a different article, um, which you'll find on, in the near future on the WP Tonic website. But first of all, you need the right type of hosting, right? Um, if you're going to host SCORN files. Um, secondly, you, the, you're going to need an add-on plugin to be able to publish your SCORN files on your on the best learning management plugin as well. Um, the, the only one that I know that does a really good job is a plugin called Grassblade, and it works with all the leading WordPress LMSs. Um, it's $99 a year. If you host with WP Tonic with the annual, one of the higher annual plans, you get that as part of the bundle. Um, but if you're hosting somewhere else that's suitable, um, you're going to have to buy this plugin. But it's still extremely cost effective compared to the SaaS solutions. Second thing you're going to need is a learning management system. So you can order your courses that will work with this add-on plugin, Grassblade. And the leaders are either Lifter LMS, LearnDash, or Tutor LMS. There's a load of resources on the WP Tonic website that goes in enormous detail about the strengths and weaknesses of these particular plugins. Of the three, the two leaders are Lifter LMS or Learn Dash. They are very similar, but I think particularly with Grassblade, um, it works particularly well with Lifter LMS, and especially if you've got the Infinity Bundle, which you get, if, like I say, if you host with WP Tonic, you get that as part of your bundle. And it's they've got individual focus on getting their LMS to work with SCORM with this add-on plugin. Now, why? What, what are the benefits? Well, the benefits are digital ownership, sovereignty. It's the nearest way that you can get full ownership of your content. With most of the SaaS plat platforms trying to migrate off them, if you get fed up with their service, is that absolute nightmare and they make it as, as difficult as possible for you to move off their platform um so you're kind of not legally but kind of intract onto their platform you won't get this with wordpress 
customization to your individual needs or customer needs and requirements if you've been hired to build out a learning management solution utilizing SCORM files, you're just going to get enormous flexibility to meet the individual customer requirements. Or if you're building in-house, you won't have the problem of being stopped with an important layout or functionality. You have the ability to customize with WordPress, with these systems. Finally, price. Compared to, like I say, iSpring and some of the other solutions out there, the cost benefits and the ability to keep your costs under control are just, you cannot compare them compared to WordPress. And then if you're looking at some of the more corporate, bigger SCORM learning management solutions, the savings by looking at WordPress are just mind mind blowing. So I want to keep this video to a short length, but I I have written an article that goes into this in even more detail. You'll find the link in the video description underneath. If you found this video hope useful, give us the thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. That really shows your support to the channel and encourages me to make more content like this that hopefully you find really useful. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.